it's happening welcome back everyone to another train sim world 3 edinburgh to glasgow video uh, we are in the hst to the high speed train for a run between uh, haymarket uh, to uh, to glasgow queen street i'm guessing haymarket maybe because spawn locations at edinburgh waverley maybe it didn't fit in the hst or something there goes that one there and to i suppose top it off it's not just any hst it is the better looking HST, the first Great Western HST, which you can see, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, which you can see here, and you've got the um, dynamic lines. It's way better than the Great Western Railway HST livery. But yeah, that is what we're going to be in today for our journey over to uh, to Glasgow. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, let's get the door shut. There we go. And this is this is on console. This isn't PC. Only. This is console. Um, it's on the Creators Club. Because I believe the first Great Western HST was actually supposed to be in the game to begin with when Great Western Express released. But then I suppose it sort of then went over to Great Western Railway, so I suppose then they just did that. Right, let's go. So Full Kirk is our next stop. Uh, and then it's then straight to Queen Street. So we are a quick service. But let's go. And yeah, Tom, uh, this is another Tom Fresco scenario. So the past two videos have been Tom Fresco scenarios. So I'll leave a link below again if you do want to try this out. It is 100% uh, worth doing because it's, it's the HST in First Great Western livery. And that also means the inside's different. The inside is also First Great Western, which you can sort of see as it goes by. This is all the purple, purple to it. Which we'll take a proper look at once we get to full cut. Obviously, hopefully, it shouldn't be too long until we um, until we see um, the livery design for the HST in the game. But yeah, I much prefer the uh, first Great Western one. The yellow at the front just looks way better uh, on this one, whereas on the Great Western one, it goes like all the way around, sort of past the, the nose. Um, so it looks way way nicer. So we've got the Murrayfield Stadium on the right. I suppose this can sort of be an Inter 7 City service. That would be good when the um, livery design does come out. Because then, then you can run um, the actual Scott Rail HST services. Yeah, I'm sure people will make the um, Inter 7 City livery and then we can do that, which would be cool. That would be very fun. What if the Inter 7 City actually does come along here? I guess probably not, as this is now electrified. Um, yeah, still water there. You've got the uh, 100 limit there. So nice to see the route, I suppose, from a wider perspective. Whereas in the 385, you're sort of squidged in to, well, not a lot really. So we get to enjoy the scenery a little bit more, uh, which will be, uh, which will be nice. Make makes a nice change from what we uh, are usually sort of restricted to. So not too far along to Edinburgh Park now. Cool. And you've got the um, five circle line that goes off there up towards, I think it's Edinburgh Airport, that goes up that way. I know there's a station around there which I usually overshoot. I can't remember what it's called though. That's over that way. So we'll be going to be passing through Edinburgh Park, uh, Linlithgow, Polmont, and then Fort Kirkkai. Oh, that's low on battery. Let me plug that in now. So it'll probably turn off very soon, so let's probably uh, do that. We'll get a flyby shot going through Edinburgh Park as well. You've got to, haven't you? You've got to get one. As this thing speeds its way through. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. Through. It's a nice sunny summer's um, day. There we go. One of the uh, stations with working lifts. Look at that. It does bring a smile to your face seeing that. There it goes. The HST? Yeah. And also going at 100 miles an hour as well. Uh, well, it does come down soon, I think. 
because there's a bridge we have to go over and I think it comes down to like 80 or something going across there so I think you'll see the line going off to the left and then we then go right and then it comes down to like 80 or something like that so we'll be ready for that Yeah, I'm not sure how long it actually is going to take us to get to uh, Queen Street. I'm, I'm, I imagine probably not too long uh, in this train. I suppose most of them stop at, you know, Falkirk, then you stop at Bishop Br Lindsay, Bishop Briggs, and you're quite, sort of, I suppose, a bit slower in the 385. Whereas we're just full speed pretty much the whole way. And it's stopping at Falkirk High. But I'm slowly learning the route huddlers, though. So like this about the end of the, um, you know, next speed limit, 10 yards. Um, slowly but steadily. I wouldn't say it's the hardest one to learn. There we go. But yeah, sit back, get a cup of tea and just enjoy the journey. Yes, I think soon the speed does come down. It's, it's definitely when the line goes off to the left, and then you get the little sort of tucked in bit, a little side in, and then you go over to the big bridge, and I think it's 80 on that sort of viaduct. I could be completely wrong though. I might, I might be thinking of something completely different. Hopefully not though. Yeah, no, here's the, here's the junction coming up, and you've got the um, two root uh, junction indicators, one for the side in and one for, well, going on the the alarm goes off. And I think that it comes down to 80 for us. Either 80 or 90. I know on the other side it's 80. And I'll pop back down just in case. And I think that's just after this. There's the um, 30. Which probably should have an arrow pointing to the left. Because that would be if you're going into there. And you can see, yeah. I oh know, is it 90? Yeah, 90. Well, for the other side, it's 80. And then we go over the fairly large viaduct, which will be a perfect place to get a flyby shot. In our, I don't know, what was the nickname for this HST? The. I know, the purple thing. I oh know, it is 80. It is 80. We're down to 80 anyway. This is going to look pretty spectacular. Here we go. Look at that. That's so good. <laughs> We need more routes of HSTs. Oh, that is that is that's good. That was very good. Let's get back in. Uh, the speed might have actually gone up now, so I just want to check. Uh, I think we're all good. Not just yet. I would absolutely adore another route of a HST though. Something like maybe a backdated. Middle, or just, I don't know, just some sort of backdated route, or I suppose then another Scottish route of the Inter 7 City, or maybe a route of the Castle HST. We need another route of the HST. As Great Western Express doesn't really do it justice, really. You know, you sort of speed up to 125 miles an hour for what, 10 minutes? And then slow back down, that's it, done. 20 minutes, pretty much. So it'd be awesome to see a sort of maybe a bigger main line. Um, you know, maybe a slightly backdated route where we can then run the HST for quite a long period at 125. Or just at high speed. I so suppose maybe something like the East Coast Main Line South. Uh, I can't remember when they retired their LNER HSTs. And I think Grand Central, they don't have HSTs anymore. Or do Grand Central? No, Grand Central I don't think do have HSTs anymore. So we could maybe see one of them. If we ever saw the East Coast Main Line. So still 90, I believe. There's like another route that goes off in a second to the right. Well, that's if you're coming the other way and goes off. Um, so we should see that fairly soon. Quite a long gap though to do in lift go. Takes a little while to get there, and then after that, they're a bit closer to together the stations. I mean, once we get to full Kirk High, it's pretty much half the route done. So I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, here's the other route that goes off here. And some sort of, sort of siding. You've got some workmen down there, nice to see. Oh, no, hang on.
What's that doing there? That's not a playable service, is it? I'll have to check that. I'll have to check that. To see if that's a playable service or what. Because I'm pretty certain... There was only an RHTT set. Let me check my PC version. Does that have Southeastern installed? Because that had the Southeastern um, wagons to it. I don't think you could have that. Maybe you can. I don't have Southeastern. Maybe you do get some freight services there. I'm not sure now. That, that, that was that was a freight train there going past. Um, I'll have to have a little look at some point. As I know there's an RHTT service um, which goes between Haymarket and uh, just uh, just before Croy. But yeah, I can't remember seeing. Oh, we put that down a little bit. I can't remember seeing a. Uh, Oh, silly mate. That's actually really silly of me. This is a scenario. Scenario planner. There's going to be... Yeah. Apologies everyone, I've got your hopes up then. But yes, I've just realised we are actually in scenario planner, not service mode. <laughs> there we go, if you want to see the uh, Class 66 jump in this scenario, uh, and it comes at about 18.10. Yeah, it's not too far to Lynn lift go. Well, it shouldn't be too far. But it would be nice to see some freight services um, in service mode, although I believe realistically freight doesn't generally travel along this route so in a way if that's how it is in real life well I don't want to see it in the game I want it to be realistic but if there is you know the odd bit of freight would be nice to see a couple of services or something well the RHTT service is a bit weird though because you only go one way along so the other track doesn't actually get sprayed so it would be nice to see maybe another RHTT service which then goes back the other way as you only do it one one way from Edinburgh to as I said just after Falkirk Kai sort of in between Falkirk Kai and Croy but you don't go back we really are being speed happy this is Lynn Lifko coming up Speed no, it doesn't come down just yet, does it? I think that's that pole when it comes down to I think 90 or so. Oh, no, it does come down here. So I'm still learning the route, <laughs> but we'll, we'll get there. Let's get a nice shot as this sort of winds its way out of the lift going. Quite a nice um, approach to the lift going. The house is sort of weaving through. It's nice. What a really enjoyable run. <laughs> Thanks to Tom, who made the scenario. What a legend. I love it in the first Great Western livery. It's very nice. I know, what do you guys pray? In Great Western Railway or Great Western Express? Or any other HST livery? Uh, well, no, we'll, no, we'll stick with Great Western for now. Yeah, Great Western Railway or first Great Western? What do you prefer? I mean, the dynamic lines are always very nice to free. Back up to 100. Let's get that. I think it's like three or four miles to Polmont. Which at this speed is nothing really. That's the uh, Bonus and Connelly Railway there. Nice sort of mainline connection there. Cool. A little bit more. Yeah, so once we get to Poland, we'll sort of start 
getting ready to slow down for full Kirkkai. Although the brakes on this train ain't bad, but yeah, we don't really want to be speeding right the way through full Kirkkai. That wouldn't be the best to see. Yeah, this has been a good journey so far. I think we'll get a flyby shot as well going through um, Pullman. Yeah, scenery. Yeah, as I said, this route, scenery-wise, uh, is yeah, you know, there's a nine seat. It's just absolutely fantastic. I, I've got absolutely, I've got no complaints about the scenery apart from the missing stop markers. Uh, but the scenery is is superb. I mean, yeah, absolutely no complaints there. Um, but the only thing that really lets down this route is the 385. The model, perfectly fine. It's like the 150. The model, perfectly fine. But the ins, no, the the sound. The audio lets it down. So if the audio sources, then it's just going to be a superb route all round. Which I hope they do do, and I'm sure they will do. That's so good. That's the line down to Falkirk Grahamston. Very steep. Very steep. Went down there on one of our train sim classic uh, live streams on this route. Shame we didn't actually see that on um, this version though, but that's fine. So back up to 100, well, I think it comes down to 95. At least on the other side, it comes down to 95. through Falkirk High Tunnel, Falkirk Tunnel, whatever it's called. I'm going to guess it's called Falkirk Tunnel. Another 66 there, nice bit of uh, a mix of AI Tom's put in here. Yeah, it's not too far to uh, Falkirk. We sort of curl around and go into the tunnel. So I might start bringing that down. Because the tunnel's quite a long tunnel, but you're out of it pretty, pretty quickly. And yeah, don't want to be going straight the way through. Uh, uh, f yeah, might need to put that down. I don't want to be going straight the way through full curve. As long as we enter the platform about 30, I'm alright. Proper dark this tunnel. Wow, they really have baked it right good in here. Decent. The instrument lights look a bit weird in the tunnel. Look at the speedometer there. What's going on with that? That's sort of halfway through the journey. I only took 18 minutes. I mean, sort of in the intro and stuff as well. Probably. 16 minutes or so to do all of that and this is sort of the halfway point and I guess we haven't been speeding so that's quite good that's good timing that is well, I suppose the slower parts coming into Glasgow you've got coming down to like 70, 50 and sort of crawling at about sort of 30 or so this is full Kirk High right to the end here. Nice and steady. It's been a while since I've driven the HST. The brakes aren't too bad though. They're, they're alright. Could be worse brakes. 385. It's also a collectible so I'm going to jump out and get that. I'm going to go right to the very end. near enough. Uh, that'll do. Here we are, let's um, do that and let's go and get the uh, collectible. I'll just put a stop marker on, aren't we? Let's get that. There you go. Welcome to Scotland. I think there's two posters you can get. I've seen an Edinburgh one and well, a Scotland one. Can we, can we 
gap. Oh, it's not a gap. Let me in. Let me stack it. Let me, um, hopefully this works. There we go. Do that. Why does it seem like it sounds better as well? Is it the right or the flat? Right, let's get the door shut. And it is 20 miles to Glasgow Main Street. That's where it's not going. Why are the doors still open down there? Get them shut. They actually are shut, it's just a game. We get him back up to 100 miles an hour. First Great Western visits Scotland to the Inter Seven City thingy. Right. We really need to see another river HST on it. Because how can you not buy this train? I mean, just look at that. Even. Uh, Maybe if they could do a first Great Western, I thought it'd be Great Western Railway. But you know, something like the Riviera line with the HST, well, that'd be fantastic. Let's get back in. And also, this one's not bugged as well, because when you do it on Cross City, uh, oh, that's in service mode, it says 0000, as the class number is on here, it's in 43345. So pretty much all downhill now to uh, Glasgow, I think it's 100 miles an hour most of the way. Um, we've got Croy, Lindsay, Bishop Briggs. Now it comes down to 70, and then quite soon after that down to 50, then down to 30 I want to say. And then possibly down to 20 coming into uh, Queen Street. But I think it is 100 most of the way now. Or is there a 95 in there somewhere? Possibly. probably say that there'll be like an 80 board along here somewhere. Never like that. Well, maybe not then. <laughs> Some workers down there did a bit of work. Let's get that really nice through here. Let's get another uh, that flower bar shop. I suppose Rivet have probably been working on this since Isle of Wight. It's quite some time. There's been no other Rivet route since then, I don't think. Uh, no. stuff. But I'm going to take a separate screenshot, I think, of, uh, or a separate clip of, um, of us going past. Which will probably see as like a short or something, because it just looks fantastic. Uh, if we try and get a little bit further ahead, come off the throttle a little bit. We are going quite quick now. Um, and then I can't remember how we do it, but I think we do. Perfect. Back in we go. We're going at 98 or so, so that's fine. I'm just coasting now. So I think, if not already, the line should be joining up with us, and I think it's coming now, uh, from Falkirk, Grahamston, Stirling, that way, that's all now joining up. They get back together again. Yeah, the lines are joined up, better together. And it's not too far along to Croy. I think the full coat's across about 10 miles, so probably actually a little bit further. 
Yeah, still a little bit of a, uh, a distance. What does everyone think of the overhead catenary for this route, though? I think it looks too bad, does it? That's sort of one of the talking points of sort of AC British routes. So, oh, the, does the overhead catenary look all right? But looking at that, it doesn't seem too bad at all. Is that a 314? Hello, 314. Lovely train. Well, unfortunately, has been scrapped. Like the three on three, oh, what was the floating scenery? Uh, like the three on three will unfortunately soon be. Go to train heaven. Where are we go. This is lovely, this has been a really nice journey. So thanks all for coming in and watching. Um, probably one of the most enjoyable journeys we've done on the route so far because we can actually see the route. Uh, it's not, you know, like this, pretty much. Just that. Or like that more like. As you see a little bit more. Yeah, you can see the rolling hills or mountains there on the right going along. Whereas on the 385, you would probably just see that. So, probably less than that. So it's actually nice to actually be able to see something. From Croy to Lindsay, was it four miles, and then Lindsay to Bishop Briggs, two or three, um, and then into Queen Street. It's not even been half an hour yet since we left uh, Haymarket, so it's gone really quick. That's a bit barren down there, though, doesn't it? I'm not sure that's probably how it's like in real life, though. What's that over there? Some sort of. Oh, it's their pylon over there. Look like some sort of mast. Like a. Signal mast or something. TV mast. Get a fly by shop going through Croy, I think. Once we get a bit closer, we'll fly ahead. Which I don't think it's too far now. I know coming into Croy, you've got like a bridge you go on that sort of curls round to the right, and Croy's on sort of that right hand corner. We did the guarding video, you sort of saw the uh, train curling into it. Which can't be too far now. Can't imagine it's far. A bit of a cutting we're going through. The cuttings are great on it. There's Croy, straight ahead of him. So what we'll do is we'll fly ahead in a second. Let's get a shot of this going through. It should look quite nice. Speed in ahead. Quite cool that. <laughs> right along we go. Look at the reflection in the track as well. This is Croy Station. Croy. After this, it's then Lindsay. That's the next one. Lindsay, Bishop Briggs, and then um, then Queen Street. So not many. There's only like ten stations on the route. So there's not many, but then it is sort of, I suppose, the the fastest way to get between Edinburgh and Glasgow. The fastest line. It's more sort of the the Scott Red Express, as they put it. I think there's like kind of a three different routes which go between Edinburgh and Glasgow. Sort of the slower ones. But this is sort of the main one. Now what, now what, what is the busiest line between Edinburgh and Glasgow for commuters? Is it this one? A little bit of a distance long to Lindsay. Yeah, so we go. Oh, 
we'll get there. Murkiness to the water. That's really nice. That does. Come back in. Let's not. Let's stop water spotting. Cool. So not too far to Lindsay. Yeah, after Bishop Briggs wins, come down to 70, then fairly soon after that, down to 50. And uh, was it 85, then 70, then 50? Something like that. But it's only just been half an hour. So we made very good, um, some sort of TV mast there, telephone mast. Uh, yeah, making very good, um, very good progress. Much all downhill now into uh, Glasgow. Speed that up a little bit. Okay, if you are enjoying the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Thanks for uh, coming in for this, uh, I suppose, specialist video near yeah, the HST. This looks to be Lindsay coming up. Yeah, this is Lindsay. And they're not too far off this to send Bishop Briggs. Where are we going? That's a very hard signal to see there down on the bottom right there, the little red. Main signal as well, eh? The easiest to see. But yeah, not then too far to uh, Bishop Briggs. That's number 66 there. Where are all these freight trains coming from? Very laden as well. That was like one of these little lay, little lay-by sidings. What's that in there? Some sort of little, little depot there or something? I wonder what's maintained there. Are you some trains or something? A little sort of little thing there. Oh, that's what about. Oh yeah, we can have a look at the interior. Oh no, not there. That's the uh, luggage car. I think we ran this on East Coastway before this train. Yeah, I think yeah, we did East Pump to Brighton in it. Which was much more peculiar than this. I mean, this is still a bit weird. Uh, the first Great Western high speed train on Edinburgh Glasgow, but it seems more reasonable. That's got to do off the Inter 7 City. And I've noticed the banner repeaters are also very dim. That one we just went past was very, very, well, just dim. I don't know if the brightness needs to be turned up a little bit. On, uh, on some of them. And this is Bishop Briggs, and there's a speedboard. Is that 85? It is 85. Cool. And then uh, 70 next, I think it is. Yeah, the scenery is gorgeous on this ridge. It's so good. It feels busy, it feels like we're actually you know, coming into the sea, it's lovely. Ignore that bridge there, which just vanished. A bit of the bridge there, vanished. And down to, uh, yeah, 50 at the end of this cutting. There's the 70. And then fairly soon after, I think it's down to 30. Well, I think it's a bit closer to the tunnel that it comes down to 30. It's 
so not just yet. That probably means down main. There's the 50. There's the Eastfield depot there. We actually have done a little video where we went in there. I think it's called Dive from the Depot. Now people kept saying, what do you mean Dive from the Depot? I don't know, but the grade which goes literally, you, know, you come out of the depot and you just go straight down. So you sort of dive, dive in from the depot. Dive out the depot into uh, Queen Street. That's where the name come from. First Great Western for is but one of the best looking I'd say on the HST. It's just so sort of lovely. Everyone say thanks to Tom for modding the scenario. It's on the Creators Club though, so you can check it out yourselves if you want. Thirty-seven minutes. So I suppose the fastest journey you can do is forty minutes non-stop between. Um, well, calling it full Kirk High, forty minutes. It's not bad at all. That not bad. I have a single yellow, so. So we are maybe running a little bit early. See the gradient change, it's uh, pretty scary. Coming into here. Hopefully we're not waiting too long. We did, just a little bit early. Wow. Coming to a stop. Also check the map as well. Actually, let's request it. No. Well, they're both red there, so I don't know. Slowly but surely falling up to it. So we have to wait like 10 minutes. time now. Hopefully that leaves at 18.40. Hopefully. Well I reckon it's going to be at 45 is it? Who knows. We'll, we'll wait 6 seconds to see if that signal changes. Fingers crossed. Change. No I don't think so. Well what I'll do is I'll see you once the signal changes whenever that may be. So I'll see you all in a second. Right, so yes, I'm uh, I'm now down at Coin Street, but we're not in the HST. I've been sat there for about 25 minutes at that signal. I was just on my phone whilst I was waiting, and nothing's actually happened. 
so I've got a feeling the 385 might be bugged or something like that in Scenario Planner because we had the same issue on Cathcart Circle where the train just didn't leave Glasgow Central. Um, so yeah, I suppose that's going to be it. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was a HST run, most of the way from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Link can be found to the scenario down below, and also to the Discord, PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, but yes, we are uh, we're in the tunnel somewhere, waiting to still come in. We'll probably never get in because, well, yeah. Uh, what's this tunnel over here as well? Just out of interest, what's this tunnel here? It's like another tunnel though, what's that all about? Um, but yeah, thanks for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you, Bolt. Take care. Bye, guys.